Hello everyone. Welcome to Green One Day at a Time. Now that it's April, let's have a look at what seeds we can sow. First, I'm going to have a look at what flowers I'm going to sow this month. Calendula, nasturtiums, cosmos, and some impatiens. Calendula is an edible flower and we have consumed it in salads. Makes the salads pretty actually. So I will be sowing these in a seed bed in the allotment. Cosmos is very good for attracting beneficial insects and bugs and beetles to your vegetable plot which will keep all the unwanted insects away. So the they uh, would be sown along with nasturtiums and impatiens in pots in a greenhouse or an indoor setting for them to first germ- germinate nasturtiums are particularly good in attracting aphids to themselves rather than letting the aphids go into your vegetables impatiens i'm sowing for my hanging baskets wouldn't go in t- it's not for the vegetable plots so these are all the flowers that i'm going to sow in the month of april now let's have a look at what greens we can sow so spring onions perpetual spinach swiss chard and baby leaf salad mix they are all they, these all can go directly into your vegetable plots with the case of baby leaf i will be sowing them in pots so that i can harvest them quickly whereas perpetual spinach swiss chard and spring onions will be directly direct sowing this is a new vegetable or a green leafy vegetable called as sweet leaf or star gooseberry It's a kind of leafy green vegetable that is eaten back in my home country. I'll be trying it this year to see whether it will be whether I will be able to grow it here. The same for Malabar spinach. It's a red-stemmed green climbing spinach. Uh it's something which I'm going to try new this year. Let's move to cal- all of our brassicas. So you can still sow cauliflower for continuous cropping. You can do kohlrabi. Calabrese or broccoli is best for to be harvested before the peak of the summer because broccoli or calabrese can see go into seed quite quickly. if the heat is too high so i prefer them to be sown in early spring to be harvested in early summer you can also sow kale variety so that's a purple kale that is cavolo nero kale or toscanat kale which is a really hard leafed ones but personally i will be sowing them well in towards the end of may or towards the beginning of june because i'm not looking to harvest them in the summer i'll be harvesting kale along with brussels sprouts and other winter vegetables beetroot along with carrots are some of the vegetables you can do direct sowing now so that was a golden beetroot and this is a mixed uh, beetroot this is the first time i'm going to try this one they have got interesting markings on the beetroot and cylindrica beetroot this is something which i tried last year and it was a good variety you can do the beetroots along with carrots <coughs> as a direct sowing plus you can also do turnips turnips are similar to beetroot you can eat the root vegetable as well as the greens the next vegetable i'm going to sow this time is peas this is purple mojdu 
any varieties of peas like peas for pods, mojdu, sugar snap, any of them can be sown directly at this time. However, the, what I'm going to do is like this, which is to sprout them first indoors and then sow them into the soil later. This is done in this way because I have pest problems eating the peas. And I have also sown some peas in biodegradable pots to go directly into the ground later in the month of April. This way I'll get su successional harvest. Cucumelons are a new kind of vegetable or climbing cucumbers with a cross. It looks like watermelon but it is a bit sour. I saw this last year on the telly and I was interested to try it this time. So that's something which I'll be sowing this maybe this month. We are in zone 3 that means our um, last frost day is towards the last week of April. So cucumelons, sweet corns, all of them cannot go out until all risk of frost is passed. So I'll be sowing sweet corn, baby sweet corn, cucumelons towards the end of April so that I can transplant them in May when all the risk of frost is passed. You can always sow radishes, white radish, French breakfast, black radish. Radishes are best in spring because they will be quite crisp and not as bitter but as the, as the temperature rises and we move into summer they will become quite bitter. Now let's look at some of the herbs, so basil, curly parsley, flat leaf parsley, thyme. Um, this is the first time I'm going to try thyme and dill. Dill I'm going to grow for companion planting with some of my vegetables. And of course, red leafed basil and sweet basil. A lot of basil, I want to try and grow a lot of basil this year so that I can do companion planting with tomatoes. So those are all the herbs. Now, if you still have in sown your tomatoes and you're planting your tomatoes outside, it's not too late, do it this week. This is sweet yellow tomato, cherry tomato and a different varieties of a tiered up tomato. Uh, I think it's called LDF1. I ordered this some time ago. It just arrived. So I'm going to sow it now and see where it will, how far I can get the harvest. And I think I'm not too late. So these are all the vegetables you can sow this month. There is plenty to do in the month of April, not just sowing seeds and preparing the soil, but also transplanting some of your seedlings. I will be uploading a, another video on what seedlings or plants I will be transplanting to my vegetable plot in the month of April. Stay safe and see you soon with another video.